Good morning, Titans. I'm Lexi Lambert. And I'm Arne Aquino. Today's Friday, March 9th, 2012. Which means it's our last day before spring break. We're going to take you back in time with a look at our women's history. Jump into the future with a look at a new hot job. And check out a new academy that's starting up at Tiana Rock. We're also going to check out one of Tiana Rock's very own special athletes. So, grab your swim trunks. And your flippy floppies. Because spring break has swam upon us. TNT starts, starts now. On this day in history, March 9, 1964, the first Ford Mustang rolled off the assembly line. Ford wanted to make a car that seated four people, yet weighed less than 2,500 pounds, and measured less than 180 inches. Today, Bartow Ford hosts a competition that awards good grades. A's, B's, and perfect attendance give you points that can possibly help you win a free Ford Mustang. For more info, visit drivefordexcellence.com. The word of the day is admit, and it means determined. Five bucks. First person who gets up there. Now. I think you owe me five dollars. No. <laughs> You could say that our female athletes here at The Rock are adamant to succeed. For instance, Courtney Guy just signed with Weber University. Cindy Rowe was able to sit down with her and discuss the signing. definitely an exciting night for Tenor Rock. We had our very first softball player signed to a major university. I got the chance to talk to our star athlete, Courtney Guy, right before the game. Let's take a look. Um, my name's Courtney Guy. I'm going to Weber International University to play softball as a second baseman to major in criminal justice. Courtney Guy has been playing softball since she was six years old. Prior to playing for the Tenor Rock Titans, she played travel ball for the Twilight Twisters. She's a utility player, which means that she can play any position on the field, and that is what earned her her full ride to Weber University. Congratulations, Courtney. The final Saturday Academy Hotcakes at Jacathlon will be on March 24th, so be sure to attend. Hey Titans, are you in over your head with FCAT? Well, don't knock yourself out, because Hotcakes Educathlon will help you get it all down pat. They've got March Madness vocab, and you can be a mathlete. All things to help you pass the FCAT. And this is gonna blow you away. Free hotcakes. Really? Waking up early to go to school on a Saturday? No. I'm a cat disease. Martin, you're such an idiot. What? What's an idiot? I have no clue, but I'm signing up. Yeah. What's, what's an idiot? What's an idiom? Loser, take a hike. What's an idiom? Any underclassman who is interested in being part of either Tender Rock Animal Science Academy or Rockcom next year needs to complete the online application by March 31st. The applications can be found at www.polkacademies.com. Prom is quickly approaching on the 31st, so make sure to purchase your tickets in Ms. Clark's room, room 2107, before or after school. The price is $65 until March 22nd, in which it will increase to $75. The last day to purchase will be Wednesday, March 28th. Are you looking for a few more community service hours? 
Well, you're in luck. Volunteers are needed to help run the gates at Sun and Fun Fly on March 27th through April 1st. For more information, go to College and Careers. You know, Lexi, throughout history, women had it tough. That's true. But thanks to our Women's History questions, we've been able to see how their bravery has paid off. Let's take a look at this week's History Challenge winner. This week, we asked you to name the woman who was the first fully accredited female doctor in the United States. The correct answer is Dr. Elizabeth Backwell. The student who submitted the winning entry and has won a gift card is Destiny Barber. Please see Ms. Denham in the library to collect your gift. So, Lexi, have you noticed that social media has been very prominent in today's world? I mean, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Google+, there's so many options. It's just... I've ridiculous. seen that. Like, a lot of uh, big companies are using them to bring business. So, as a result, social media has become a new hot job to have. Social media is going to be the engagement of people in public places. You have Facebook, you have Twitter, Tumblr. It's a great outlet for um, political officials, for celebrities, for anybody. Social media is a huge part of today's society. Social media is providing a lot of new opportunities for our generation. Does video production tie into social media? The latest thing that everyone is talking about is YouTube and videos. And so it is the fastest form of social media. With video production, we can further our ideas and make it seem to everybody around the world. What skills are important in a social media job? Your English skills and communication skills are the most important thing. And you have to have a little bit of technology on the other side. You have to be more computer literate. You can't just be able to draw things out. You have to actually be able to use the software programs. What are some requirements of a social media job? I'm paid to tweet. I update his Facebook, his Twitter, and his YouTube account. Old School Compound Skate Park is a skate park I take photos and videos for. I promote them weekly by making a video every Friday. What are the benefits of social media? Video production will always be around. It helps reach audiences all around the world. It's really a great thing to get involved in, and especially if you can get a job in. Well, there you have it, Titans. An exciting new job and an exciting new field. For TNT, I'm Arne Aquino. Well, Titans, it's about that time to sign off. I'm so excited that we have this whole next week off. Right? What are your plans for spring break? I'm going to Vero Beach, and it's going to be amazing. Nice. It's going to be so fun. What about you? I'm going on a cruise. Ah, look at this one. Well, we hope that you're as adamant about having a good spring break as us. So, we'll see you in two weeks. Later.